four years ago in Penrose at the Return to Nature funeral home. They have 4.9 stars on Google. Christina Page arrived to get her son David cremated. It's the most horrendous feeling I've ever had in my life. For four uh, years, she believed this urn held too. David's cremates. This is not, um, this whole situation is just unreal. About four weeks ago, her reality changed. My son has been laying there rotting for four years. David never got cremated. His body was one of almost 200 law enforcement officers recovered. The district attorney accuses the owners of falsifying records, money laundering, theft, and abusing corpses. The arrest, as far as I know, went um, off without a hitch. John and Carrie Halford got arrested Wednesday morning in Oklahoma, the same day Christina planned to cremate her son again. This morning I woke up already crying. To get an arrest today was almost shocking. The first hour of my day was absolutely an emotional roller coaster. There are 189 other families like her. And the coroner still needs to identify dozens of bodies. Please contact your loved one's dentist if you think you might may have a loved one within uh, this case. Christina doesn't know what or who is in the urn. She just knows it's uh, not her I'm son. Not sure. And she started and calling it Grandma Fido. I'm having a hard time letting go of it. Um, the FBI wanted the entire contents and the urn, and we fought about it. And um, they got some of the contents for testing. Um, but I'm refusing to let go of the urn. She says Grandma Fido deserves the same respect she's given for the last four years. The respect she wishes the Halfords gave her son. In El Paso County, Aaron Adelson, 9 News. So many families going through that now. The coroner now saying they've identified 110 of the bodies, but are still trying to identify the other 80. The Halfords are now being held on a $2 million cash bond. The DA is hoping to have them extradited to Colorado soon. But he also cautioned the charges could result in probation and not a prison sentence.